Uh, Assalamualaikum and uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Okay, uh, before we proceed with the uh, the our class today, so just to uh, to highlight something about the previous class, where in uh, power electronics, okay, uh, our main analysis uh, we will have a two condition, uh, two part of analysis. It's actually the because we know that power electronic is a switch, right? So we 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 operate the for example the diode and the transistor as a switch. So mean that it must have either on on state or off state. Okay. So for example, in this kind of circuit, which is a very simple rectifier circuit, so we can divide uh, this one as a on state, while this one is an off state and it is a cyclic okay okay so during on as you can see the diode is on so uh, the current will flow and v out is equal to vs okay but when uh, off condition where the reverse bias as you can see there is no output here okay so this is a, a very simple half wave rectifier circuit so that is when you are dealing with a resistor. So resistor is a linear load. So the waveform of the current is similar to the waveform of the voltage. Okay, so I think that is a very straightforward. And then we have also done the, some examples and solutions have been uh, uh, discussed and also shared in the group. So today, what we uh, want to do is actually to analyze the same circuit, uh, okay, using a single diode, which is still the half wave, uh, half wave rectifier, but the load right now is changed into a RL load. So this RL load, uh, in general form, we call inductive load. Okay, inductive load because it has resistance connected uh, with a and inductor. So this one we have what I call inductive load. Okay, so inductive load. So your, so we consider this load as a non-linear load. Okay. So anything that actually the the load is has an addition of inductor or capacitor. So we consider that is a non-linear load. And right now, as you can see, V out is the addition is actually the total summation of VR multiplied with VL. Okay. So by using, the, so we are analyzing this circuit during on state only. Okay, because you know when, uh, okay, on state. So this is actually during on state. So during on state, what happened? Uh, the current will flow, okay, and this is actually the KVL, Vs is equal to Vr plus uh, Vl, which is uh, Vr is the voltage drop across the resistor, and Vl is the voltage drop across the inductor, and if we uh, rewrite Vr in terms of I and R, so this will have like this, I omega T multiplied with a resistor, and the voltage drop across the inductor is uh, actually L DIDT. Okay. And as you can see right now, uh, this is a non-linear equation, which is a first order differential equations. Okay. So, so it's quite difficult to uh, solve this. Okay. So what we need to do is actually to look at uh, the waveform of the current. So uh, the current right now is consisted of uh, two components. Okay, we have I force, which is the current due to the force response. Okay, and then we have I N, which is uh, I natural, which is uh, the current flow that due to the natural response of the circuit. So I hope you uh, know about uh, what is I F and what is I N. So IF is actually uh, the current flow due to when you have a voltage source. Okay, so right now, so what is IF? So, which is this kind of circuit. 
okay so this is your if so okay so this is your r and this is your l which is this one you combine which is is actually z so z is actually r plus j omega l okay so from here you can see that your if from from that circuit is equals to uh, vm v over z okay which is you can write down like this okay so which is uh, your v is actually vm sine okay sorry i think this one you need to <clears throat> you need to solve it using phaser okay using phaser so this one is r this one is your xl okay this one is your v zero degrees so from here you can get your i force which is a v over z okay so v over z so this one is zero this one is theta so from here you can get your if is equal to v over z with an angle of negative theta and then when you convert it back in the time domain so you will have i omega t equal to vm over z and this one will become sine omega t minus theta okay so that is, uh, sorry yeah uh, yeah sorry for the sermon. is this the is this a transient response or no 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 this is what not is transient it? response this is actually the uh, the steady state analysis when uh when it is uh the the diode is forward bias when the diode is forward bias okay so you have a complete circuit we have a complete closed circuit here and then the kvl which is vs so we consider this one a zero voltage drop so this one is vr and this one is your vl right so that's why we have vs is equal to vr plus vl okay and then you write down in terms of current and the value of the resistor so you will we get like this but since we know that this is a very difficult to solve okay because it, uh, you have a di over dt so um, uh, another way to solve uh, the the circuit here to analyze the circuit is to look at the current the current waveform so actually since this is uh, you have a r and l so definitely your current consisted of two so this is a steady state current okay during on state during on this is the current that flow inside the circuit you have two uh, element which is the force current okay the force the current that flow due to the force response so what is the current that due to the force response is this one we define like this so you have a load and then connected in series with the source so the current that flow here is if okay so the if is this one which is vm over z sine omega t minus theta how i get this is actually you need to solve this circuit by using a phaser okay v over z where your v is angle zero and your impedance is z theta so after that then you can use this one v over z with an angle of negative theta and then come back in the time domain okay so this is a force force current force current okay and what about natural current response so natural current response is when the source is zero so meaning that uh, you have a circuit and then this is r and then this is l okay so this one is vr and then this one is vl so you have vs is zero right so you can write down like this okay and then we know that this one after you uh, rearrange this one uh, after some time you will obtain the final equation for up from this natural response is equals to this one okay this is actually come from your circuit theory okay uh, the first order circuit theory right where it's actually when you have a voltage source is zero so actually this volt this inductor will actually discharge okay so it will discharge so that's you have starting point and then it will discharge like this so this is what you call i n so this is your i natural i natural is actually the current that flow due to the 
energy stored inside the circuit without without external sources okay that is what we call natural uh, current which is in and the current in uh, you need to relook at the circuit theory on how to solve the first order circuit here okay finally you will obtain this where a is your is a constant which is you don't know the value yet minus omega t okay over omega tau and tau is the time constant so usually for the time constant when you are dealing with r l load so the time constant is usually l over r okay and then so the total current which is is actually a summation of i force plus i natural so right now the i force that we have calculated is vm over z sine omega t minus theta while the natural current is a exponential negative omega t over omega tau okay but we haven't uh, settled this yet because we don't know the value of this constant a so how to solve uh, the the value of a here so what we need to do is we know that when uh, omega t is zero okay meaning that when you st starting time is zero so actually okay starting time is zero so use uh, the current you know that the current is actually zero right so this is actually uh, from the uh, from the equation actually this one from the graph actually okay so when omega t is zero the current starting is actually zero so you set this omega is zero here so all, all omega t is zero here and then uh, so this one should be zero okay is equal to zero and then you rearrange this finally you will obtain the value of the a so a is actually equals to vm over z sine negative theta but you know that sine negative theta is actually equals to sine positive theta so you can also write down like this vm over z sine theta okay so finally we have obtained the value of a so we substitute a with these values okay here we substitute with um, vm over z sine theta see doctor yeah uh, i think uh, sine negative theta is uh, equal to negative sine theta because sine is uh, is an odd function sine negative theta sine negative theta let's try sine uh, negative 90 in negative one sine yeah yeah sine oh yeah because it's an odd function yeah 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 and cosine is even function mm -hmm. yeah yeah you are correct yeah. why it like this eh i never realized about this okay thank you very much on that but i think yeah maybe some 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 uh, correction need to be done here but actually okay so this one maybe i need to look to re to relook at this again but actually the the answer for a is actually vm over z sine theta okay so that's why okay thank you mustaba okay i will look at this how Welcome, it is like this okay so but a is actually equals to vm over z sine theta okay and then uh, finally we substitute a here so the total current is this one so uh, we in terms of memorizing these equations so it depends on the questions so um actually it's not good to memorize this one but uh it depends i will tell you whether this equation is given or not but usually we will give this equation okay unless that you are required to derive okay 
usually if you are using this equation so we just give the equation so you just use it but if the question required that you want that to derive this so i think we didn't give the equation so this is the current during on state so vm over z sine omega t minus theta plus sine theta uh, exponential negative omega t uh, over omega tau which is very long to memorize so actually as you can see during on state uh, you will see you can see that the current is no longer a pure sinusoidal okay it's a non-linear current so as you can see like this so this is actually uh, the waveform that uh, associate with this that circuit okay so this is your vs v supply okay and you see that you have a current output this is your current output okay so this is half cycle pi this is full cycle to pi okay so you will see so you see that the current okay this is actually during a positive cycle and this one is during negative cycle okay so the current will keep flowing even though it is in negative cycle okay sepatutnya it should be stop right at pi because uh, the diode we 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 if you look at the circuit you have a diode okay and this diode is depends on anode and also cathode so whether it is a forward bias or reverse bias okay so but somehow even though uh, the diode is in reverse bias where right now the polarity is this one the current is still on is still flowing meaning that the current is still flowing until at an angle of what we call beta this beta is what we call extinction angle and this beta is usually larger than pi or beta is always larger than 180 degrees okay so the current is non-linear it's no longer uh, a sinusoidal current is actually a summation of uh, two sinusoidal which is sine omega t minus theta okay okay and sine theta here so you have a non-linear current so why why when uh, the diode is reverse bias okay because right now the polarity is reverse so the diode should be uh, off right now but the current is still on the current is still flowing is it correct why yeah the, the circuit is correct lah but why why the current is still flowing even though it is the diode is in reverse bias so right now that uh, at this point positive positive cycle no problem because uh, the diode will turn on right because it, it, it is in the forward bias from zero to pi no problem this is a normal operation from zero to pi normal operation but after pi okay the polarity of the voltage source is reversed like this negative here and positive here so meaning that uh, the diode should be reverse bias when the diode reverse bias so the diode should be off so no current should be flowing but right now as you can see in this graph even though pi even though it is in the uh, negative cycle here you will see that the current is still flowing but decreasing at uh, a certain rate until beta why this happen um because of the minority minority carriers no minor carriers is actually a micro amperes this one we talk about the current that flow inside the power circuit it can be 100 amps here this one may be 100 amps 
Ma- minority okay. carrier is actually a very minimum current, micro MPA, that is what I call leakage current, but this one is not leakage current. Okay, doctor, is it an ideal diode? Yes, ideal diode. We consider all our analysis in this class, all will be ideal switch, no voltage drop, no leakage current. So why yes, there is a current flow? The current is higher. The, uh, the, the the current is higher than the diode itself. No, this uh, is one. This one not related to the rating and so on. So for this class analysis, we consider <laughs> the di the, the the device is all ideal, meaning that the voltage is can be infinity is no problem. The current can be infinity, no problem. Okay. I think it's because of the uh, inductor, doctor. Okay, Mutaba said inductor about inductor, is... and then Afif yeah. also I heard that said about the the because of the existence of the inductor. Yes, because of the inductor. Okay, so we know that during positive cycle, okay, when the diode is on, the current will flow. Okay, the current will flow, and then it will charge this inductor. It will charge okay, the inductor. <clears throat> and then when negative cycle, when the polarity is reversed like this, the diode should turn off, right? But you know that the behavior of the inductor, it will oppose any change of current. Okay? it will oppose any changes. So right now, the current is flowing beautifully. Okay, the current is flowing inside the circuit, but suddenly the diode is off. So this inductor will oppose that discontinuity. So what it do is actually it discharge. It discharge, so the current will keep flowing. So since the current is keep flowing, so it will force the diode to turn on until the energy inside the inductor is fully zero or fully discharged. Okay, so at that point is actually referring to this beta. So this is actually the point where the charge inside the inductor is fully zero. So when fully zero, meaning that they, meaning that there is no force, okay, come from the inductor. So the diode will automatically reverse bias and off. So that's why from beta until the next cycle, so uh, the circuit is disconnected. Okay, I hope you understand why this happened because of the inductor here. The inductor during the positive cycle, it will charge. And then during negative cycle here, so the diode should off, but this inductor will discharge the energy and then it making the current to flow, to continue flow. So the diode is forced to turn on until the energy from the inductor become zero. Okay, and then it is repeated. Until the next positive cycle, so the, as you can see here, the current is slowly increasing, meaning that the inductor energy is slowly dis, slowly charging. Okay, until at uh, and then same again, it will discharge. Okay. So this is actually okay. I hope you understand about this one. And then this is the waveform about the V out. Okay. So V out is, you should know, is actually VR plus VL, okay? VRT plus VLT. And what is your VR and VL? So this is the, the waveform. So if you plus this one, both VR and VL, you should get this V out. Okay? So can you see the relationship between uh, VL and also I out. Because you know that VL is L 
di dt right but since we know that i out is also i n right so that's why we see d out d i out okay so you know that the relationship between that so as you can see here this one so this one is a positive right positive because uh, you, you you see the increment of current over time is positive right i delta i over delta t okay this is your delta i current current is increasing this is your delta i and this is your delta t right so delta i over delta t is in positive rate so positive rate so this one is actually you know that di dt is also delta i over delta t right so when it is positive so that's why you have vl positive so positive vl okay and then this is at the peak this is the peak where you know that during peak value di over dt is zero right so that's why vl is zero here and then after that you will see that uh, this will actually start to discharge okay start to discharge at this point so you will have your delta i over delta t is negative so that's why you open your vl which is the uh, your vl is actually negative okay so th that is the relationship that you can see between i out and also vl okay Okay, and then let's see at this part, this part, this is from pi to beta. Okay, so since the current is flowing, okay, okay, look this valley, I redraw again. This one is your V out. This one is your Vs. So since the current is flowing, so we need that the diode is conducting. So V out is still connected to Vs right so right now at this point from here pi to beta your vs is actually negative okay that's why your v out also will have a negative value and then suddenly the cut the energy inside uh, the inductor is finished then the diode will suddenly turn off okay and then that's why you have this so your V out will be have a shape like this. Okay. Okay. So right now, this is what we call extinction angle. Ataupun angle dalam in Malay is actually sudut kepupusan. Kepupusan meaning that the energy is zero. Okay, the energy has been fully discharged. Okay, so actually beta cannot be computed, cannot be calculated. Okay, this is actually we we show to you here. Okay, uh, beta cannot be computed because it is uh, we have we have one two okay we have one we have one equation but two variables okay so which is not very not is not possible so but beta can be computed numerically by using newton Raphson that you have already learned okay dengan you know uh, subject uh, kaedah berangka okay uh, numerical numerical method okay i think you have already uh, learned that in your last semester or maybe previous semester the, the numerical subject okay that is the purpose of of study that subject okay during my period during my study also i don't know the application of this subject the numerical method but after somehow uh, 
uh, during my master then I see that the, the, the usefulness of that subject okay okay memang tak tahu kan apa benda you cari <laughs> Okay, you try, you try an error, you try put value and then try to to iter, uh, to have an iteration. How many iterations so that it becomes zero, right? Uh, okay, that is that is where the application of numerical methods is actually this one. Okay, okay, so the beta can be solved numerically, meaning that uh, we will not uh, give or ask you to find beta in your final exam or your test. Okay, because it's impossible to to obtain these values. Okay, so to summarize, uh, so we are concentrating on the current, okay, the waveform of the current right now because the current is a nonlinear current. So uh, the we the current is only flowing from zero to extinction angle only, okay. And then uh, how to calculate the value of the current? So this is the equation, okay. V m over z sine omega t minus theta plus sine theta uh, exponential negative omega t over omega tau while the other is zero okay zero meaning that what is actually all about is actually this one so from zero to beta okay yes you have this current but from beta to next cut next cycle is actually zero okay that is what it is uh, uh, the meaning of this equation okay this is the summary Okay, so uh, the average current and also the RMS current. So you just leave it like this. So because it is quite difficult because um, it's time consuming, not difficult. It's time consuming. Okay, so um, this is the I out average, which is uh, one over period, which is one uh, over two pi. And then you need to integrate from zero to to the full cycle. But we know that... Um, the current waveform only exists from zero to beta, so that's why you need to integrate from zero to beta only. Okay. Now hold on. Okay, I have something. Okay, hold on. Okay, and then uh, the RMS. So this is the RMS equation. So the general equation is for any RMS. So it's actually one o square root, one over your period from zero to your period. And then uh, the x t cos uh, square. Okay, so this is actually the general equation of RMS. Okay. So as you can see, it's quite tough here because you need to integrate a non-linear equation. And then this is the power absorbed by the load. Okay, so this one you need to be very careful because right now you have, if you have R and L, okay, so you have XL and then this is R, you should remember that P is only power that absorb is actually the, the power that referring to the resistor. Okay. Not overall. Okay. So the power, this uh, power average is actually the power that actually absorbed by the resistor. So if you are using power, you are using, uh, for example, this one is your I put, I output, and then this one is your V out RMS. Okay given you I out RMS and V out RMS, if you are using V out, using V out RMS multiply with I out RMS, so this is wrong for this kind of circuit because you have, because V out is actually consists of VR plus VL. Okay, so that this is wrong. We want only this part. So the only equation for power that can uh, that can actually relate to this 
part only is actually by using this equation. I out RMS square multiplied with R. Okay. Cannot use this one. Or you can you, you use this one. V out RMS square over R. This one is also wrong because V out. V out is the total. VR plus VL. Wrong. Okay. So we want only this element. The resistor. So the only element, the only equation that uh, that can fulfill this is actually by using this equation. Okay, so if your load is inductive or capacitive, please use this to calculate your Pout. Okay, and then uh, as usual, the power factors is P over S. Okay, because we know that uh, the power is actually come from yeah S, which is your S total. Usually come from your source, right? So use this one is your P total is equals to cos theta. So from here, cos theta is equals to um, P over S. Okay. So usually P total is your P out, nah. And then usually S total is come from your source. Okay. So that's why sometimes we call we use P out over S source. Okay. So, we, so what? We, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what if uh, if we use a uh, P equals IV and we use the voltage of the resistor V R instead of uh, V out. Sorry. Uh, what you mean? Okay. Oh, okay. So meaning that you are using this one V R. V R. Yeah. Yes, okay. If you are using this one, VR, RMS multiply with I out RMS, then this one is correct. You can use this. Uh, yes, correct. You can use this, but but usually, yeah, stud usually student got confused. So that's why uh, usually for the power, we have three equations, right? P out is equal to V out, I out, or V out over R or I square multiply with R. So we have three equation here. V out. Okay. But so usually in the using the practice, usually in the practice, we are using this one because it's quite difficult to obtain. If you have combination of uh, load here, it's quite, it's, it's not easy to obtain the, the load. Uh, sorry, the voltage across the uh, resistor in a practical situation. So that's why uh, in practical situation, okay, uh, the engineer always use this equation to calculate the P out. Okay. Okay, example two here. So source is a uh, VS one hundred sine one hundred twenty five T. Uh, the resistor is eighty ohm and the inductor is fifty milli Henry, and the extinction angle is two hundred. Okay, let's do this. Uh, So I'm sharing with you my Microsoft whiteboard. So actually this one is very useful. Okay, so sorry for my drawing. So this one is your we consider this one is your V out, okay? So this one is your V out. Uh so this one is your Okay, pi. And this is your beta. And then this is 2 pi. Okay, and then the current. 
should be slowly increase charging 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 and then discharge okay so this one is your i out while this one is your v out so okay the uh, the question uh, an expression for the current in this circuit okay so the expression of the current i omega t is equal to vm oh why this is new whiteboard so not very easy that, that it's not it's not very what I call smooth okay vm over z sine omega t minus theta plus sine theta exponential negative omega t over omega tau okay so this is the general equation general, general expression so what you need to do is actually to fill all the values okay so we already know that vm is 100 and right now what we need to do is to calculate the z okay so z is r plus j omega l so you can use your calculator okay what is your r and what is your j omega l can you calculate for me can share the value of r in the chat room anyone r2 standard lah 80 kan so you need you don't need 80 and then just plus plus j what is your omega l hmm Six pi or or six pi or just uh, six multiply with pi or eighteen point eight five. Uh, eighteen point eight or eighteen point eight five ohm. Okay, and then this is a rectangular form, so you need to convert into a polar. So just use your calculator. So make sure that you are in the complex mode so 80 sorry 80 plus 82.19 angle 13.26 uh okay sorry your z is uh that is 82.19 okay and then your angle is 13.26 13.26 6, okay so meaning that your z magnitude is 82.19 and the angle theta is 13.26 okay so from there you can just put it um and then another one is your tau which is l over r which is uh, 50 milli henry over your resistor 80 ohm so should be um, yeah give me i 0 0.625 milli 0 0.625 milli okay then from that we can just calculate uh just put it so since uh so right now your omega is written here 120 pi okay so that is not uh, so meaning that uh you can write down so your omega is not a variable anymore so you can write down as a i out t over is equal to 100 over 82.19 sine 
120t minus 13.26 degrees. Oh, sorry, this one. Plus. Uh, so, the omega is 120 pi, right? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. 125. 125 t, yes. 125 t minus 13.26 plus sine theta. Sine theta is sine 13.26. So, just you cal enter your calculator. Sine 13.26. 0 0.23. So, 0 0.23 exponential negative omega t so negative 100 pi t over um, 0 0.625 milli okay sorry so actually omega and omega omega and omega can be cancelled out right so this one cancel out. So should be uh, T over. So this one is negative 0 0.625 milli. Okay. So in other words, 6.25 inverse, it should get negative 1.6. Okay. So one inverse so you should get negative 1.6 t doctor kilo t oh it's kilo eh yeah. oh tak apa Okay, so this is the final expression. Okay, so you should write down like this. Okay. Let's move back to the notes. Okay, so and then we have already completed the A and then B and C. This is actually expression for the average load current and C expression of the RMS current. So, uh, so it's quite lengthy, but usually the test and final exam also we don't uh, require the student to solve that. So maybe just put it in the form, okay, like this. So we sh we know we we know that you understand how to calculate the the average current and so on. So you just put one over omega. Sorry, just put like this. One over the period, which is two pi, and then uh, you need to integrate from zero to your beta, which is the beta is given uh, if not mistaken two hundred. So. Okay, and then uh, integrate the equation. So I this one you replace with the equation current okay and same goes to the rms also so this is the final rms equation expression okay so we finish on example two okay so the expression is just a general expression uh this one okay b and c just uh use this one Okay, but the current you need to replace with the 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 current equation that we have already calculated. Okay, and then okay, so as you can see, uh, from the waveform, okay, the current here is uh, the current output here is discontinuous. Okay, the current output is discontinuous. Sometimes it has current, but and then after bet after the extension angle is zero, and then after that, the the, the next cycle is uh, on and then off. So we don't some some is uh, some of uh, applications. So they want the output current to be always continuous. 
Okay, meaning that uh, every cycle it has a current flow. Okay, so it depends on the application. So if the application requires you that the current to be always uh, have a value here, so what device can be added to the circuit? Okay, so we are using as you are using as uh, the previous circuit, but you need to add one device. Okay, what is the device? So this is actually the device that you need to include, which is a diode. So this is the original circuit. This is the original circuit. Okay, where the original circuit will we show you the current is actually discontinuous. This is your current output. But when you insert this 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 what you call D two or what you call sometimes free wheeling diode, free wheeling diode or FWD, okay, the current will become continuous. Continuous meaning that the current will be like this, charging, discharging, but and then it will charging again and this and charge discharging but it will not become zero so how can this have how can this uh operate okay okay so during normal operation during uh, when this is a positive cycle Positive, the polarity is like this, okay, positive, meaning that this one is positive, this one is negative, okay. This one is on. And as you can see, the polarity is negative here, so meaning that this one is also negative, right? So meaning that this diode is off. So the current will flow from D1 to the load. Okay, so normal operation. So your current will be, uh, for example, like this, charging. Okay, normal operation. But when the source is reverse, like this, polarity is reverse, meaning that this one is become negative. This one positive, meaning that this one will be off, right? And this one will be positive. So positive, meaning that this one will on. Okay. So when this is off, and the energy that stored inside the inductor during the positive cycle, the energy will charging, right? And then when it is in the negative cycle, the energy inside this inductor need to be discharged. Okay. So it will discharge. So the current will flow. Okay. In the original circuit, this diode D2 is not available in the original circuit, right? So the current will flow here and then it will force D1 to turn on until the energy is fully discharged, right? That is the original circuit. But for this circuit, when we insert D2 or the freewheeling diode, this current see that, oh, I have another part here, another current flow part. So I will flow here. So the current will flow here flow here and then charging again the inductor so actually the current will actually free wheeling inside this circuit so that's why we call this one free wheeling diode because this diode will uh, make the current is actually free wheel inside this circuit okay so discharging and then come again and then charging itself and so on so that's why we have the current is always uh, meaning that the energy inside the inductor will not finish until to the next cycle 
So that's why we have a continuous current. Okay, like this. So this is when, um, so this one is D1 is on, D1 and then this two is off. Okay, so, so this is a normal uh, operation. So the inductor will charge. Okay, and then when it is a reverse bias, this one the polarity is become like this. So this one is D2. Okay, and this one is D1. Okay, so the current that flow here is zero. Okay, zero. So the current will flow here, free wheeling. Okay, and V out will see zero voltage because okay, KVL. If you are using KVL, V out is equals to zero, right? Because there are not, no element, no other element. So this one is your V out. So V out is zero. So this is actually the final output when you insert the free wheeling diode. So the V out right now you have positive. And as you can see, for the original circuit like this, okay, original circuit like this, you should have negative part here, right? And then this is your extension angle. And your current should be like this, right? But when you insert the freewheeling diode, you have this voltage without negative part here. And the current will always continuous. So this is actually the current waveform of ID1. And then this is the current waveform of ID2. So as you can see, uh, during the charging, so ID1 will charge. Okay. And then after pi, so uh, the diode, freewheeling diode will take over the current flow. So the current will always flowing. Okay. So there are two advantage of using the free wheeling diode. Okay. So the free wheeling diode where the, where you insert this diode parallel with the load. So uh, the first one is continuous load current. And the second one, you will not have a negative part, clip uh, negative part at your up voltage, meaning that your V average will become higher because we know that V average is the uh, area under the graph, right? So when you have a positive area and then you have a negative area, so negative area will reduce the total average. But when you have only a positive uh, area, so your V average will be actually higher than uh, the original circuit here. Okay, I think that's all uh, for class today. So, okay, so I hope you can understand this uh, slide notes. So, any question? Regarding the quiz, I can see that uh, most of you uh, did an excellent job there. Okay, uh, but uh, I would like to remind that we have a series of quizzes. Okay, a series of quizzes. And then uh, for your information also, so maybe you already know that uh, after the Raya, Hari Raya celebration, we will have the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, session, okay? But I don't know the class, whether in the timetable, in your timetable, is there already, they give you the, the, the room number or not? Okay. I think the room number is in the pre-registration, but uh, oh, we're okay, not sure okay. if it's, uh, we're not sure if it's going to be the same as the one in reality. I think it will be the same. Hopefully. Okay. Think, yeah. Mm. Okay. And then for those who are still uh, not in Malaysia, I think you need to uh, 
fasten your your process okay to come to malaysia because this is the circulation okay is this is not uh decision from the 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 from the coordinator this is actually uh, from utm okay so uh, actually all the activities should be conducted face to face uh, meaning that uh, the test and so on so but uh, i think test our test one will be before the semester break right so i think that one for test yeah. one will be online but after the semester break when you have a face to face session then all will become normal meaning that your test will be face to face and so on okay I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much. And I will upload uh, this uh, in my YouTube channel. Okay. So you can just uh, view that after this. Okay. To have uh, more understanding on this. Okay. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum and uh, have a very good day. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr.